Consider the object with a weight of 1384 newtons on an incline on the incline of 16 degrees with horizontal. So um, there they've drawn it for us, but let's just redraw it ourselves. There we have a 16 degree angle. On that 16 degrees we have our object that has apparently a weight of 1384 newtons they do not tell us how this thing is moving so there might be a resultant force acting on it and the resultant force would be the effect of the weight and the normal force but maybe there's no resultant force which means it might be stationary if that's the case then there's a frictional force that's in the opposite direction so we have a normal a friction and a weight force leading to a resultant force which might be zero but let's consider everything and uh, see what that means okay so first question they ask us is to calculate the magnitude of the normal force acting on the object notice here how they ask for the magnitude not the direction simply the magnitude they didn't ask us to calculate the normal force simply the magnitude of the normal force now we know that the magnitude of the normal force is equal to the weight perpendicular to the surface so here's the weight that's perpendicular to the surface and we know that the weight perpendicular to the surface depends on that angle which we know is 16 degrees and it makes it is the adjacent side of this uh, the adjacent component of the weight in this right angled triangle and for adjacent we know we use cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse which means that adjacent is equal to hypotenuse it's just cos of theta uh, cos of theta perfect okay now with that in mind we know then that the weight that is perpendicular to the surface the normal force if we were just doing the magnitude is equal to the magnitude of the weight perpendicular to the surface okay um, if we were doing the normal force as a vector we would have said negative but we only want the magnitude so the weight perpendicular to the surface we see is with that formula the weight times cos of theta so there is the formula for the magnitude of the normal force okay with that in mind we can substitute we know the weight was 1000 what's it 1384 newtons times cos and our angle this time is 16 degrees and when we solve this using our calculator what do we get 1384 times 16 cos gives me 1330.33 one three three zero comma three nine newtons that's simply the magnitude so if we put it in here you see they ask us for the formula using w and we type theta so w then uh, that's exactly this formula w cos theta preview that looks perfect okay when we substitute that's the second step 1384 times cos of 16 preview perfect again and finally our normal force calculated to 1330.39 newtons there we go that is our final answer for the normal force the next question asks to calculate the component of the weight parallel to the surface of the incline okay so there is our incline and that is the component of the weight that is parallel to the surface of the incline in other words w parallel and this you can see is opposite the angle that we have here and since it's opposite that angle we calculate w parallel is equal to w sine theta okay why again well because sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse 
opposite being the weight that is parallel, hypotenuse being the weight that is vertically downwards, and therefore when we multiply both sides with the hypotenuse to get rid of it, we find that the opposite is equal to the um, hypotenuse times sine theta, which translated in our sketch here is simply opposite being weight parallel to the surface, hypotenuse weight uh, that is vertically downwards. Okay, substituting, we substitute one, th what was it, one three eight four, one three eighty four was the weight that's simply downwards, and sine our angle was sixteen degrees. And now, what answer do we get? Let's see. 1384 times sine of 16 degrees gives us 381.84 381,84 no 48 sorry not 84 48 48 newtons there we go. This time, they did ask for the component of the weight parallel to the surface of the incline. So we already know the direction. It's parallel to the surface of the incline. Putting in, we know that that was our formula. W sine of theta. Notice how I type out theta. And it automatically converts it for me. Okay. Then if I substitute, my substitution step is 1, 3, 8, 4, 1. 384 sine of 16 perfect that's what I want and finally when I get my answer I got 381.48 let's just confirm that 381.48 that's correct it's rounded Newtons preview here we go and the last question they ask us if the object is at rest and the only other forces acting on it is the frictional force on the surface what is the magnitude and direction of the frictional force so we know that this weight that is parallel to the surface would be the resultant force that is what's causing it to slide down but it's not sliding down it is at rest which means there's a force that's counteracting that sliding down. That's the frictional force. And therefore the frictional force is in magnitude the same as W parallel, but in the opposite direction. So in, since we are writing the direction here, we don't use a negative in front. If we use the direction, we don't need to indicate the negative that's in front. So direction will be... Oh, sorry, the magnitude will be what we just calculated, 381.48, 381.48 newtons. And the direction is then parallel up the incline. Friction will be in the opposite direction than the parallel down the incline, which would be the resultant force of normal and uh, weight. So 